Okay, this is it, y'all. The entire reason to get Disney Plus. Everything else is a bonus. The Mandalorian. Let's go. Episode 1. Very cool intro already. Man. And the OG trilogy aliens. That's the cool thing here. Ooh. Mando. Bam. Super professional. And the blaster just ricochets off. Ooh. Yikes. Oh, you're the mark, huh? Here, you take my credits. It's a mistake. I can get you more credits. I can bring you in warm. Or I can bring you in cold. Ooh. <laughs> They're not playing with this opening. He killed those guys just for messing with him. All the OG aliens. I'm loving it so much. <laughs> I love it. So cheeky. Ah. The macro, the macro binoculars look perfect. He moves really smoothly. That definitely would have taken some practice. Well. It's still got a hold. Stun prod. I love the color of his armor too. And it still has the diamond in the design, it's just not a separate plate. It's really cool. Mm. Not a talker. He seems very unconcerned about the prisoner. A weapon to take him out? <laughs> Life Day! The holiday special reference. Ooh. Carbonite freezing got a little bit better, huh? Oh! He's got a carbonite chamber on his ship. That's awesome. Looks like you're bringing him in cold. Some familiar ship shapes there. It's awesome. Has that seedy look that any Star Wars cantina should have. Lots of real costumes. Oh, Trend Oceans. Bad deal, bro. He's going to remember that. Why would you, why would you still be taking jobs from this guy if he didn't pay you for the first ones? Here we go. His shoulder um, bell looks very similar to a short trooper, kind of similar paint scheme too. Could be one on the left side. Oh no, I'm wrong. <laughs> that Constable Zuvio hat. I'm glad Lucasfilm can laugh at themselves. 
Gonk. Hmm. Oh. Are they actual stormtroopers or just people wearing stormtrooper armor, though? One of the best voices around. Those SC-14 blasters. We hardly ever see them. Cheeky. That beat-up stormtrooper armor looks so good. I love his medallion. This is top-notch costume design. Like, his suit... Okay. Let's... So, his suit is cut very similar to an officer uniform, but it has a little bit of different embellishment and a little bit different cut. It just lets you know, like, it's kind of a carryover from the Imperial uniforms. Like, I can see a scientist wearing that in the Imperial era. It's not, it's really good. Just really good connection to old stuff. Interesting. Because the Empire's kind of at fault for what happened to Mandalore. Well, what happened later. The original Civil War, of course, was not their fault because that was during the Republic. Or the Clone Wars, I should say. I swear they've used that same staircase before. That's a reused set somehow. Whoa. Whoa, I did not expect to see that. Heck. Amando Blacksmith. This is already so cool. People with Mando costumes have got to be going crazy right now. Like, absolutely nuts. Look at that. That is so awesome. Ooh. Diamond there as well, built into the plate. Such sick designs. Whoa. Flashbacks. Oh, heck. Is this during the Clone Wars? Had to be, right? Ah, uh, that's how they connect to magnetics. I like how he already used the down payment. I'm surprised that his gloves are fingerless too. That's an interesting choice. They said the data was 50 years old, which at this point is very old. Like well before episode one old. Whoop, flamethrower. It's electro dart. Ah. Ruined his forearms. I think this is the first time we've heard an Ugnaught speak basic. No saddle or anything, huh? Looks a very weird shape for riding. Mythosaur. Someone actually saying that word. Just like that, huh? Interesting character here. And we might not ever see that character again, but you can feel like it has a history. He's not just here to serve a purpose. 
that's what I love about Star Wars. Every character can eventually be fleshed out more. What's the big deal with this job, though, if they're just, like, mercs? Well, that's an assassin droid. Bye. I love the head. The design is so awesome for these droids. His personality is exactly as I would expect. This is awesome. This droid's straight up owning. It's so okay, let's let's stop. It's so awesome to see an IG unit. Well, I think it's not exactly an IG unit, but to see a, a bounty hunting droid actually in action and moving, because in the old movies, IG-8 was one of those side characters that we saw, but like he was just standing there, right? We never got to see him do anything until like Shadows of the Empire, the game. But we never, you know, that was a game on the Nintendo 64. This is completely different and completely freaking awesome. What? It's only a matter of time till somebody throws a freaking detonator in there. Or gets a big gun like that. Okay. E-Web. <laughs> Quit that! Stop it! Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Ow. That's, uh... No bueno. Yeah! Get on that sucker! Here we go. Yeah! Rambo style here. So, this is already very interesting. So we see he doesn't like droids, right? But he's willing to get over that if the droid is useful. Which makes me think this definitely had something to do, his backstory definitely had something to do with the Clone Wars. <laughs> well that's a good shot anyone else i like how he's good but not like perfect how did the trackers work how did they get a tracker on the target Oh. Sadly, we'll never know. No. Opposing jobs. Well, that character didn't last long, huh? Yeah, his job was to take it alive. So who hired the droid to take it dead? And is he going to deliver? Hmm. Dave Filoni, you madman. John Favreau, you too. Oh my god, custom end cards? They are... They're not messing around at all with this show. I'm really digging this ending theme too. That's a pretty good introductory episode in my opinion. Man, they released an action figure for that droid. <laughs> oh, maybe he'll get fixed up and we'll see him later. Uh, this concept art, though. That's, that's Boba Fett straight from the holiday special. I love, and this is the thing about Dave Filoni. He loves Star Wars, right? He loves everything. He loves the old stuff. He loves the new stuff. He puts all sorts of references in to stuff that only really big fans would remember or know about. It's really awesome. Yeah. Solid. Really solid. I liked it. 
I'm really wondering where this is going to go now because they've already shown us that this guy has some history having to do with the Clone Wars. Was probably attacked by droids. Um, I do think I remember a promo shot of that flashback with a, um, a super battle droid, droid in the background. He, We've already been shown that he actually is tries to be a decent person. Like, if it's not part of the job, he'll try to be decent. So what's he going to do with this baby? And also, what species? We'd, we'd never have known what species Yoda actually is. Like, the name of it. So... There's that, and there's why does the Empire want it? Or the I should say the Imperial Remnant, because by this point, the, Emperor, the Empire's already been destroyed in Operation Cinder. So, um, the, the wheels are turning here. I don't have, like, a lot of coherent thoughts to put out right now, but um, I will say I'm, I'm very happy with this. You can tell they really, really are into the old stuff and also willing to do new things as well, which is the perfect mix for star Wars. I think you always need a little bit of the old with the new. Excellent. 